Hey folks, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Empress FX Reverb. Now this reverb has the standard plate, spring, room, and hall reverbs that you're gonna find on most effects pedals, but it also has eight different options beyond that. Um, from anything from what they call sparkle, to beer, to delay, and reverb uh, combined, which is pretty cool. Um, there's 29 total options. We're gonna take a look at 21 of those today, um, simply because we're not just trying to see um, how this compares to everything else. We're trying to see what differentiates this. And so while the hall, spring, um, room, and plate might be unique, um, most pedals are gonna have something similar to that. We're gonna be looking at what makes this different and we get pretty in depth. Now, most everything on the pedal is gonna be at about noon on this besides uh, the decay being a little bit longer just so I can do some strums um, that will let hang on um, after doing some staccato strums um, so we can see how the reverb sounds, how the algorithm um, continues after the, the sound uh, input has stopped. Um, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot with that, but we're really gonna be taking a look at what's unique about this pedal. Um, in this case, we um, are going to be running a parts caster directly into Neural DSP just on a clean channel. Now, typically, I'd run it into an effects loop on my Marshall Origin, but I don't think that most people that are gonna be viewing this video necessarily are gonna have an amp. Um, with an effects loop. And so they're gonna get some coloration from the preamp um, on the reverb itself. Whereas when you run it through the effects loop, uh, you're gonna be having the sound of the preamp be run through the reverb so that that tone, um, the tone of the preamp is being affected by the reverb and not vice versa. Um, now, the, the, the knobs are pretty simple here on this. Um, you're gonna have the standard decay length, mix, and output, as well as EQ for the verb itself. Um, you have a high and a low EQ. But then you also have two knobs called Thing 1 and Thing 2. Thing 1 and Thing 2 control variables for each of the unique reverb settings. Um, and and that's what makes this so customizable. It also has MIDI control, um, stereo in and stereo out. So if you're running a stereo rig, then you have some really cool options here. This video was done specifically with the, um, the mono option done simply because I don't have two um, amps that I wanna run this through. Um, so everything's done in mono here. Um, and I really hope you guys like the video. Please feel free to request, request anything else that you need from me. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, take a look and see how you enjoy it. Thanks, bye.